time the organizer Jelta and the school for inviting us to share a little bit about what we learned. For me, I come from the corporate world, we are practitioner. Alright? No experiment. If you make a mistake, people lose their jobs. If you make other mistakes, company closed down and such. But then we through trial and error, our company is about it's 65 years old, we are Sunday, we are celebrating our 66th year uh, next year. And we started uh, in 1958. That time we set up what we call University Bookstore. We are set up to serve UN and UK radio states. Alright? But over the years we have branched out into preschool, into universities, into colleges, as well as corporate learning as well. I'm going to talk about the theory of exchange. Now what is the theory of exchange? One may ask. Now generally, every day in life, we go through exchanges. Why are you in school? Why do you want to go to college? What do you want to do in the future? Invest your time, your money, your effort and everything to study hard. And after that, you get a degree, alright? A license to go and work, alright? So you exchange your time, your effort and all you have to get your certification so that you become a skilled worker at your work. So this is first exchange. Now second exchange, we call it labor. Labor, when the individual work, we call it labor. So you exchange your labor with an organization, whether you work for government, private sector, then you get your wages. You exchange your labor for wages. All right? So the company pay you. If you do well, you make money for the company and stuff that they give you more money. So you exchange for, the, for wages. And after that, right, the company, through your work, they will sell goods and services to the public. When they sell good services to the public, they exchange the goods and services for money, for remuneration, which in turn give you your wages. Now, why is all these things important? All right? Now, being a student, if you score well, if you do well, if you succeed, Obviously, you get higher wages, so you will have more positive exchange, all right? If a company sells a good product from the works of your hand and your effort, the company will make more money and it can reward you more, all right? So with that thing in mind, actually, what we are saying is that no salary is too high or no salary is too low, all right? Quote an example, like a friend of mine, he became the CEO of a bank. He's paid 8 million US dollar a year. Right? But he interviewed with one of the local banks. He says, my salary is 8 million, I hope to get about 12 million a year. Start that. The CEO of the bank and the owner of the bank says, sure, if you are very good as a CEO as you are, all right, if you do something, I own 2 billion shares in my company. If you do something good and my shares go up 1 ringgit, I make another 2 billion ringgit every year. But if you do something stupid and my shares drop 50 cents, I will lose 1 billion ringgit. So how much is your pay you ask for again? So it's a matter of exchange, all right? Yet other companies say you are not skilled, you, you only, your, your attitude is so-so, you like driven or not driven and stuff. Um, free also don't join my company because you're wasting my time because of opportunity cost. I can use the time to train other things to do other in web rather than getting you in the organization. So with that thing in mind, all right, the thing is that in the end, what really matters to every one of us? By the end of the month, you work, you get paid, and you look at the net result, whether it's positive or negative. If it is positive, you have a positive exchange in society. You'll be happy. Every month you work, you, you, you go movie, you eat, you do everything, you still got money to save. You're very happy, okay? Because you have excess. Your exchange is positive. But by the end of the month, you find that it is not too good, blah, this thing cannot pay, blah, that thing cannot pay, blah, borrow money from your friend, blah, from family, and stuff like that. You have a negative exchange. When you have a negative exchange, you feel very miserable. Why not the education system like that? Why is it like that? Why is it like that? You ask a lot of questions, but you never ask yourself. But how do you turn the negative into positive? Alright? One of the ways is delay gratification, delay your pressure, delay the things that you want so that you become negative. But that could be 
um, kind of a less uh, positive approach, but then you may actually upgrade your skill, learn a new course, all right, make yourself more marketable, and then you get paid more. So that is a positive approach to education, I mean to the exchange. So remember the exchange, try to get the positive exchange. Now all of us at this time of moment, you are thinking, uh, after SBM, shall I study further? Shall I do some micro credential course? Shall I drive grad? And stuff like that. This thing goes on to the mind. And sometimes I say, after I graduate, my pay maybe is less than driving grad. Alright? It goes on to the mind. That's why a lot of people may not want to go to university. But from a personal experience, what I'm sharing is that you should go through at least formal education, rather a diploma or, or university great such, alright? At the same time, you can do micro credential and additional costs. Now, why is it important? It's because, right, society measure, okay, this is my Baha of education. I am taught to think strategically, systematically, so that I can be employable. That is your modal insight. That is your human capital that you need to have, at least as a base, as an insurance. And in Malaysia, right, there's massive opportunity for progress, for improvement, for increment, for, for getting new jobs and, and uh, higher position and such. As you progress through life, you will see yourself going up. Like those days, all of us, when we first started, we are junior salespeople, we are junior executive. But by now, after many years past, every one of our friends and colleagues are all CEOs or Toto Jabatan or some ministers as well. So if you go through that path, you will almost guarantee it's successful, right? And nothing is easy. Life is such challenges is a sure thing, just like that and just like paying income tax. You know, if you qualify to pay income tax, it's not a bad thing because your salary to go. At least like say you earn at least 4,000 only, you qualify to pay income tax. So if your salary does, Meningkat daripada tempat ribu and you pay income tax, that means you're relatively successful. Okay? So these are some of the things. And one of the advice to that people will always give is, find something that you really, really, really love to do. And get someone to pay a lot of money for the community. Okay? And there will always be a constant upgrade. Like say, even though you are chairman, you are principal and stuff like that. Like, there will always be new learning that you need to do. Like say for example, when I have this few weeks of doing interview for new staff, right? I see in every policy CV, almost every one of the candidates know how to design website, have Canva, alright? And then they know how to run social media, they know how to run TikTok and so on and so forth. Because these are all part and parcel of the new generation and requirement of the workplace. And the next thing is, all the new Guru Bazaar, all right, that goes to this to Amin Yudin Bhakti where Guru Basar has been trained, they all have to do ICT in education. Being the leader of a school or being the Panathia or being the Ketua Jabatan, you can't say, ah, uh, how to share screen up on Zoom, how to share screen on uh, Teams uh, or Google Hangout and stuff like that, right? It's embarrassing if you're on the head and you don't know how to do that. So it's a lifelong learning process that you do, all right? Now, another topic that's very commonly been shared is that I want to be a social media influencer. I want to be a tech talker and stuff like that. But does it really, really make money for that? I would think that only a very, very small percentage of people made it. Whereas the rest of them may be disappointed and stuff like that. But if you get a proper job, a proper degree, a proper qualification, chances of you succeeding is much higher. Now, from my personal experience, like my son, they young people all use uh, IG, Instagram, right? But that day, he left his hand on and he said, Wow, super chanting. Then his friend came back, blue hair. They got the, oh, you're the head boy, can you go and tell the principal? I'm really not keep my blue hair. He said, Bro, don't tell that to me. Lah. Sure, cannot want to blue hair. How will you come back and muscle class? Then the principal says, the two of them say, do you have with the traditional college day, cut your hair and turn it back to black. And you, hey boy, long hair, cut it. So he was very sad. 
But when you complain in IG, all your friends say, I, uh, you bitch on Twitter thing, uh, you petty and stuff like that, right? So he started a TikTok account and complained about principal getting him to cut hair and stuff like that. And the TikTok account goes viral, all right? It hits about 16 million views. But the thing you have to know that uh, sometimes uh, it's not the content you create, sometimes the world is determined by the system and the owner of that. When they find that position, a lot of people watch it, the algorithm pick up. Then you can see uh, every week, uh, the whole Asia people coming in, the whole Europe people coming in, the whole America, South America and so on and so forth. But in the end, right, what does it all mean? It doesn't mean anything. And I ask myself, what do you do? No, I'm just a pretty boy, and people like my face, look like foreign stuff. It doesn't reflect anything on him. All right, to hit 16 million. But the thing is, after that, right, he tried to reply, but there are 400,000 uh, people connected to you, and everything you post, there may be 30,000 positive, but one or two negative things, right, it disturbs the mindset. He said, yeah, maybe this guy is handsome, but could be dumb or something like that. Then it, it disturbs the mindset, even do a few negative comments. Finally, after two months, three months, just to talk about how I said I want to concentrate on my A levels because my father worked very hard to pay for my A levels and stuff. So you see the good decision. People say, "Oh, you're so happy to get one thousand followers." Now I got sixteen million views and four hundred thousand followers, and I close the account. But sometimes it's a, it's a choice. Like within two three months, one of the days we went to Big Valley, whole family going up the escalator. Somebody coming down as it look exactly like my son. Then when we went home, the guy said, I've been stalking you. You saw me, right? I look exactly like you, right? I spent all my life saving to do plastic surgery to you. Look like you. It's scary actually. Alright? So that may not be a second. Like another key study like my daughter, she play games. Alright? And uh, people pay 10 US dollars to watch her play games. And only 10 people watch her play games. So does my son with 16 million, you don't even want to earn one ringgit. And this, this doctor uh, play professional game and people pay 10 US dollars to watch. Who earns more money? Right? So you could focus on things that you are specialized in and you do particularly well. In fact, that is real money that brings you positive exchange. That's something very general. There's a lot and lot of opportunity out there. Right? So this is something for you to note and upskill upgrade. And when we connected with you through Jalta, right, we were committed to share global technology. Now I deal with all the international school Malaysia. Ninety percent of the international school does IGCSC uh, Cambridge. All right. So many a times the scholar and third bouncer where all the royalty, the ministers, the businessman goes. Whatever happened in the UK, US, or even China or progressive country, they are already using it. They don't need a crystal ball to see the future. We are already in the future. Alright? And what we're going to do is that we will share with your school to the leadership team all these things that they're using so that you don't do some. At least you get a sampling on all these kind of things so that you will actually experience all the world class things that people are doing. Right? And we are committed support you and many times you jump out for the biggest thing happen. So to everyone, we wish you the very best to the exams that's coming and may God bless you in everything that you do. One final word is for me I live on the motto of my potential is possible. What does it mean by my potential is possible? Kita yang beragama to us who believe in God and the highest calling is following God's will. Alright? Every day I do two in class, I work hard. When I study, I play a game or interpret in any media, I give 100%. Alright? But whether I remain a teacher or a bookseller or maybe in the future I become a minister or whatever, it doesn't matter. I give my very best, the highest level that I will reach, and the achievement that I'm going to get in my life later on is inshallah, depending on God. God's view for me. What has chosen for me is the best that can ever happen. So those of you who believe in God, give your hundred percent and the rest leave it to God because that is the ultimate. So all the very best and God bless you all. Thank you very much.